Hi there, Libra. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Libra for the week of March 14th. If this one isn't resonating, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are involved with a Libra, keep in mind the energies here could be flip-flopped or reversed. Just go ahead and interpret this reading as it makes sense to you. If you want to order your own private reading, you can find all of those details down below in the description box. My least expensive is 20 for a quick reading. I also have a $50 reading that's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. And if you really have something complicated, I have a $75 10 question reading uh, where we'll, we will get to the bottom of it. Um, all right, we are looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person that I'm going to clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Um, we were looking at the Mystic Mondays tarot deck. I just got it and it is gorgeous. I love the colors. I will leave that link down below if you want to check it out. Um, I'm also going to be doing an extended reading here. You can get that by clicking the join button below the video. It's $10 for access to all of the extendeds for every single sign. All right, let's get started, Libra. So we have a relationship ending here with the Three of Swords. That's heartbreak. It's heartache. Um, this is most usually pictured as a pierced heart. And those swords are going through it. So it was a painful experience here. And to me, this looks like a new beginning here, a new chapter, because we've got the Ace of Cups. Now that could mean a new love coming in, but with the forgiving and learning up here, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We also have photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. To me, this reads more like a reconciliation here, but it is possible that there is a new love coming in. Ace of Cups is falling in love again. It's a new love cycle. Four of Swords is resting and healing. It's usually a more of a break card than it is a breakup. You may have needed to pull yourself together. This person may have needed to pull themselves together. Maybe some time for reflection here. We have the coffin card. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. It's very much like the essence of the death card in the tarot deck. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This person wants to talk. I think they're nostalgic about the past. I think maybe that they've done a little bit of learning with that forgiving and learning card. And they're feeling the connection that's still there. Now we have the lovers here. This is Gemini energy. I love how it's two flamingos underneath a palm tree. This is the most Florida of cards. I love it. Um, they feel like you're a divine pairing. They feel like you're their match. You're their person. You may not be seeing eye to eye right now. You may not be involved in a relationship in the physical sense, but there's still this emotional connection between the two of you. They're still feeling it. And I think they're wanting to start over again. We're going to learn more whenever we pull their energy and take a look at it. But there's a lot of pain here and there's a lot of love and there's healing as well. So everything looks really good here. All right, let's check out your person. All right, here's what we have so far, Libra. I'm also going to clarify this uh, with the with the Golden Art Nouveau tarot deck. I needed to look that up. All right, so this is someone who's looking at the big picture, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a legacy with someone. It's building a future sharing your resources, building a life like you, you know, you own property together and you share a home and you share your life with this person. It's a relationship in term of decades. It's looking for longevity. It's looking for stability. We've got the six of pentacles here. They're wanting to invest in this relationship. They're wanting to invest in you. 
Six of Pentacles is someone giving to you their time, their energy, their effort. I love the King of Pentacles in this deck. He looks a little bit like James Bond, or am I making that up? It looks a little James Bond. Um, I think of, this is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. So this person could be an earth sign, or they could have earth in their chart, or they're simply thinking in earthy terms here. When I think of earth energy, it's it's about stability. It's about being grounded and centered. It's about your security, uh, financial security, relationship security. This is someone who's very serious. Uh, they're coming here with the Three of Cups, which is a reconciliation. Um, it's a dating card. It's a friendship card, but it's also like a reason to celebrate. Um, for some of you, for some reason, the anniversary kind of popped into my head. For some of you, it may be the anniversary of this relationship. You may have recently had an anniversary. Maybe there was something here that kind of stimulated um, those memories of you. We've got the chariot, cancer energy, wanting to move ahead in life. Almost get the, like, I wonder if even this person had like a birthday or something. And they're like, you know what? I Where am I in my life? Am I building anything for myself? Um, they're wanting to get ahead. The chariot is always about movement. This person may also be moving physically towards you. This could be a long distance relationship or just even energetically getting into the same space that you were. Maybe you wanted a commitment, but they weren't able to offer you one. And now, now they are. We have the strength card. This is Leo energy, even though it's like this gorgeous tiger. Um, it's strength. It's taking that risk. It's being bold here. Maybe this person was always afraid of love and no, they're no longer afraid. They're ready to put their, their money where their mouth is maybe here. All right. Let's take a look. And I swear, I'm not even like giving you justice to these cards. They have like a prismatic effect. It's not really showing up on camera, but I don't know. It's given me a little bit of life. It's like spring so tell me about Libra's person here, the James Bond. <laughs> tell me about Libra's person. Just the fact that he's like flashing his watch, that's very on brand. All right, we have the Page of Swords here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You could be dealing with an air sign or one of you has air in your chart. They have been watching you, maybe online, maybe asking other people about you, driving past your house, um, maybe just curious about you. I think of the Page of Swords as it's curiosity. I'm thinking about you, wondering what you're up to. Where is this going? That's too many. We've got the temperance card. Hold on. So temperance is Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the Sag or someone with Sag in their chart. It's also about balance. Um, they want to fill your cup. I love how she's been, like she's balancing the water between these two glasses. And that kind of goes along with that six of pentacles. Maybe this person wasn't giving as much as you were to this relationship. They may have learned some lessons about that. They want to fill your cup here. They're wanting a new chapter in this love story. They don't think it's over. about Libra's person here. Actually, for you, that balance is kind of speaking all about Libra. All right. Well, we've got the Eight of Cups in reverse. 
someone coming back, someone who hasn't emotionally disconnected from you. I don't think that you've emotionally disconnected from this person either. I think you're still invested. The Magician, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini. You can see that he has, hold on. So he's got the cup, you see the pinnacle, the sword, the wand, the infinity symbol over his head. This is really associated with Mercury and communication. Someone being very um, focused, very intentional, uh, very intense about you, very intense about this relationship. They're going to fix it. Uh, they want to, they're looking, I think, at the long term for you, for this relationship, what they want in life. Like this person is dead serious. They're, they're looking at building a legacy with you. They're wanting like the happily ever after is what this person is looking for. All right. Thank you so much for watching. In the extended, I'm going to be looking at the feelings, the intentions, the advice here. If you want to order your own reading, you can find all of those details down below. And blessed be.